Welcome to another episode of Food Talk with Mike, or is it Breakfast with Mike? I don't even know. We're going to do a hybrid show. This is my very first. Um, number one, guess what I'm doing? A really unique breakfast sandwich from Wendy's. I haven't seen anybody review. It's... <sighs> So this might be my chance to break the net. It's called a maple bacon chicken croissant. <sighs> that sounds good. Um, the seasoned potatoes are with it. I love it. To drink, I actually got a cherry Dr. Pepper. Hey, let's do some gambling. Check that out. The cups, this is a medium, my God. My last one that I got was a winner. Free Baconator, breakfast Baconator with any purchase. So I just put that right in my little thing. Let's see if I win anything this time. I didn't cash in on that Baconator because I forgot until after I pulled it. Wow, look, I won something again. Free orange juice with any purchase. Huh. It's a different shape too, which is weird. This one's much bigger. Maybe I got a large that time and I only got a medium this time. And maybe I got a better gift because I got a large. So maybe they gave, since this is a medium, maybe a lower level gift. I just wonder if all of them are a winner. Good question. So, Let's try this making bake maple bacon chicken croissant. Mm. Smells very sweet. Smells like a waffle. Ooh. It's like a cube. Smells kind of, I don't know if it's the bread, but borderline fart, but sweet because of the maple. And kind of like a sweet fart. It's not very appealing. Well, let's try this. Maybe because it's like egg, is the bread fried or something? I don't know. There's, there's a little bit of a, I think it's that croissant smell. Anyways, let's try it. Grace. We said grace. Let's eat. Now we eat. Mmm. Oh, man. Mmm. It's really good. It had a bread smell to it. And croissant is like light and buttery. But it's good. I was over exaggerating. It doesn't smell that bad. It's just unique because of the maple syrup with the butter, the chicken and bacon all together. It's just different. I'm not used to it. It's a nice chubby chicken patty. Juicy. It's good. And these fries. I've had these ones already. Mm. Very peppery and very garlicky. Very good. Mm hmm. My drink cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper. Awesome. Word on the street is they have actually have soda. Um, what is it? Cream soda, Dr. Pepper. I like that. Hmm. This morning, ran to a longtime friend, a Chinese, a lifelong friend. 
worked with him at two other jobs before I became a mailman. And um, my buddy Joe, Eddie told me I was looking for distilled water. The date right now is March 14th. It's a Sunday. It's the 15th, I'm sorry. And it's a Sunday. You know, um, people are going crazy really bad right now because there's a uh, uh, pandemic. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. It's a global thing. It's a big mess. And people actually in my town have uh, been diagnosed with it at the hospital and getting treated. So, you know, we're one of the first, I guess, in the nation. Uh, doing my best to stay healthy, uh, I guess. But anyways, I was at John Eagle and needed water distilled because I have a CPAP machine. They didn't have none. He said, go to Menards. I went to Menards and these two old guys were taking all of them. They were loading them quickly. And before, you know, they were all loaded, I, I seen another one of my great friends at Menards and he was with me. And um, he was in the military and he had on some of his, you know, not military clothes, but clothes you could tell he was in the military, retired. I think they were scared because I saw I was with them. And they left me a couple jugs. So I got the jugs I needed for my if I was by myself, they would have probably kept all the distilled water, not shared. But they seen my buddy. And they, you know, my buddy was probably going to say something like, hey, why don't you guys leave him a couple? So they just, uh, and that's a true story. These guys were being hoarders. And, um, you know, times like this, take, take what you need. Maybe a little, but, you know, there was no need to take 10 jugs of distilled water you know, for your CPAP machine, one jug will last you probably a month or two. So, I mean, come on, man. And people are going a little overboard and the toilet paper situation, I don't get that. There's a lot of more important things than just um, clean butt. Not to mention, you could just buy a bidet and hook it up to your toilet bowl for 30 to $50, and you turn it on, and it just shoots right up there and cleans you, and it's good. I have one. And then you only need, like, one piece of paper just to get the moisture off. It's a great idea. If I'm ranking this sandwich, mm, this is thick-cut bacon, too, man thick. The chicken is juicy. Lost some breading. And the croissant itself. It's not a stupid croissant. It's where you bite it. Crisps everywhere. And it crisps everywhere. All over you. They made this bread perfect to where you could eat it like a sandwich and not have to worry about looking like a sawdust factory when you're done. This sandwich in the maple flavor is so mild, but nice. It ties it all together. Now this sandwich. I like it just as much as the breakfast baconator. Because really it's, it's just awesome. Um, on my standard breakfast scale out of 10, give it easy an 8.6. Mm hmm. I do. Mm hmm. 8.7. 8.8. Mm. That's how good it is. Mm. That's as high as I'm going. And this is how the potatoes come. Oh, 
Don't you hate when people do this? Girls, mostly, not men, but, you know. You know, there's food. Watch. Why do they stick their tongue out between their teeth? I don't know. I think it's a stupid look. Hey, this sandwich costed me. It, the combo was $5.99. For a medium, to turn it into a medium, it, it turned it into six seventy one. Seventy cents to upgrade. And I could have probably went the large route, but maybe not. A medium potato is a lot of potatoes. I think it's good. And the drink is huge. Mm. All in all, was it worth my money? Yes. Look at what else I got. Here's my bottle of water, distilled for my CPAP because of my friend Tommy. I owe him. Shout out to my brother Tommy. Love him. He's awesome. Probably anybody I know, he'd probably kick this, their ass. One person. Now I got his back, even though he don't need me. That's what everybody needs to do right about now. You know, in these times, a lot of people are panicking. I'm trying not to, because I'm a the man of the household, whatever that means. But, um, you know, you gotta be strong. God helps a man who helps himself. That doesn't mean to be an idiot though. Clean, safe, help out other people. Don't be a grubby hoarder. Help out other people. You'll 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 be good. We'll make it. Made through SARS H1N1. I'm not even gonna speak the name of this dirty virus. I don't like it. I ain't giving it the attention. It likes to feed off our peers. I ain't letting that thing beat me or my family. I'm not going to let anybody take that down. We're all going to take down this. Beep! This, excuse my mouth, this virus. Well, thanks for tuning in. Letting me vent. I was a little angry. I eat food, I'm better now. These potatoes were great. Super crisp. So. Take care of yourselves and each other during these times. I probably won't be doing a lot of food reviews because, eh, I've been eating a lot at home. Excuse me. And, uh, excuse me. I'll be making dinner with Mike content, which, um, a lot of people like it even better, just as much. So I review. I'll just be reviewing stuff you could buy at the grocery store. So, um, take care of yourselves and each other. Eat well. And love everybody. Because I love you. And that's, that's what life is. Just a bunch of love. Take care. See you soon.